Customs and Border Protection and Border Patrol say they're making progress deterring migrants from crossing the border. The problem, they say, is now smuggling is shifting away from the wall. 10 News reporter Cassie Carlisle tells us where agents are seizing thousands of pounds of drugs. This past year has taken a tremendous toll on our agency, our agents, and their families. It was an eventful year. Any violation of federal regulations is an arrestable offense. From protests in the sand <laughs> to a rush at the border. While a nearly 14-mile stretch of new bollard fencing was completed in August, Friday officials said their agents faced more attacks. There were a total of 156 assaults on agents in the performance of their duties. Agents endured 72 assaults the prior fiscal year. And while arrests at the border are down, smuggling, they say, has shifted to the water. Since October, agents seized more than 3,000 pounds of weed, 1,000 pounds of coke, 3,000 pounds of meth, and 200 pounds of heroin. And 108 pounds of fentanyl. That amount of fentanyl is enough to provide a fatal dose to 24 million people. While faced with national scrutiny for the treatment of migrants, Friday, stories revealed agents' kinder side. Our agents persevered, oftentimes bringing items from their homes to care for small children and babies in custody. Another agent came to the rescue of two lost boys in Chula Vista, immediately covering a boy suffering hypothermia with his jacket. While laying down next to him, body to body, in order to transfer his body heat. The boy recovered six weeks later. An eventful year with lots of change. In San Ysidro, Cassie Carlisle, 10 News. Arrests at the border have been down for the past six months. Acting Chief Scudder says that she expects that trend to continue.